Just recently, we released Lindy 3.0, which allows you to build complex automations and the AI agents in just one prompt. But on top of that, we also gave our AI agents access to a computer, meaning that they can browse and use the internet just like a real human would. But we thought, why stop there? Since Lindy AI agents can now access a computer, they should also be able to vibe code. Well, let me introduce you to Lindy Build. It is the first vibe coding tool which actually checks its own work. If you're like me and you've used other vibe coding tools, tools out there, you probably run into the same issues of having to reprompt the agent countless times until you get the first working version. Well, with Lindy, that's not a problem anymore. Lindy AI agents can build out your idea from start to finish and actually go through their work to make sure that everything works. And if they run into any issues within the process, they can actually fix it themselves. So for today, I wanted to build out a web app that I will actually use myself. So what I'm going to build is an AI version of Brain.fm. If you've never used it, it's basically a productivity app which gives you focus music so that you can stay locked in on your work. But the problem I run into with it is that I've used it so much that I pretty much know every track on there. So I would like to have an option to generate my own music. So we'll We'll do exactly that. We'll build a productivity app which allows us to generate our own focus music using AI. To get started with building our app, we just head over to Lindy and in the chat box here, we click on build apps. And here I'm just gonna click on the microphone button and explain the idea that I have for the app. I would like to build a beautiful app similar to brain.fm. In this app, the user will be able to select the category as well as BPM and other criteria for the songs that they would like to generate. The songs will be only in focus category. So we're basically creating lo-fi ambient music that helps the user focus. So the categories that the users will be able to choose should only resemble that. So ambient and focus binaural music. So I think that's fine for the first half. And then I would like to explain to Lindy how we'll actually generate the music. So to handle the music generation side itself, I'm gonna use an app called Music GPT. We'll actually copy the link to the documentation and give it to Lindy so that it can read through it and understand how their API endpoints work. So, okay, I got the documentation link. So I'm gonna say, use the following link for the documentation on the Music GPT API, okay? So as Lindy agents are able to use the internet, they'll be able to actually head to that link and understand how the Music GPT API works to set that up. I would like to have the music generation selection and the categories on the left and on the right will be the tracks previously generated by the user. The user should be able to choose whether they want to save the track or they want to delete it. If the user decides to save the track, it saves the track into their playlist, which they can then press play down below to listen to their songs on repeat. There'll also be a timer underneath so that it can see how long they've been focused and playing the music. Make sure the app has beautiful UI inspired by the Mac OS. Okay, I think that's plenty for us to get started. So I'm just gonna send that through and get building. Okay, now Lindy will ask us a few questions to make sure that it fully understood what we're trying to build. So I'm just gonna respond to it via the voice message again. Yes, please include all the subcategories that you mentioned. Deep focus, creative flow, meditation, study session. Also include some categories that are related to nature. BPM range, yes, let's stick within 60 to 120. The user should also be able to control the mood, instruments, and duration. For duration, let's keep it between five to 20 minutes. Okay, now Lindy will generate a summary of what we're trying to build so that we can check before we proceed. Okay, it understood our layout. So left panel will be the generation, right panel will be previously generated tracks. We'll have music categories, controls, features, and the user flow. I'm happy with that, so let's proceed. Now, Lindy started a computer to actually start building. And the fun thing here is that you can actually watch it doing it live. You can actually see it going over to the link that we sent and reading through the API documentation so that it understands how it works. Now, a few minutes into it, as we can see, it went for the documentation, created the main app components, created API directory, API routes, etc. Uh, while it's doing that, I'm gonna go to Music GPT and actually generate the API key. I'm gonna call it Lindy. Focus app, create API key. Then I'm going to copy the key, head back to Lindy so that we can use it later on. Now about two or three minutes in, we're making some progress. By the way, here on the top, you can see the different views. You can see the terminal view. So what Lindy is doing in the terminal. If you click on the browser, you can actually see the browser view. And actually we can see that it's generated the app and it's working through it. Right now it's in the testing mode. It's actually clicking through the different buttons to make sure that everything works. We can see here that the building has been finished and it's in the testing stage. Remember at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that Lindy checks its work. 
Well, as you could see, it's going through all of it right now. Now, so far, the app is looking exactly the way that I wanted to. We've got on the left side, the music generation. On the right, we've got the tracks. And down below, we've got our focus playlist, as well as a bar at the bottom, did the track that's currently playing and the timer of how long we've been focused for. Okay, and our app is now finished. We can actually click on the link and access it directly in our browser. Okay, as you could see, we've got the categories here. We've got the BPM, we've got the duration slider, the mood, instruments, etc. However, the issue is that we didn't integrate the API key yet, so this will not work. If you go back to Lindy, it actually tells us that it uses mock GPT service for demonstration. To connect the real API, I'll need to add my API key in the environment variables and update the API service in the music GPTs.ts. All right, so I've integrated the API key and let's see if our app works. So I'm gonna choose deep focus. I'm gonna choose 120 BPM. I'll go for five minutes, just so it takes less time to actually load. For mood, I'm gonna choose dreamy. And for instruments, let's go for synthesizer. And I'm gonna click on generate music. Okay, now we just wait a little bit. Okay, and our song has been generated. Now, one issue here is I didn't actually add a, an option to play the song before we save it or delete it, but we can fix that later. I'm gonna click on save. Now it's on our playlist and let's see if it actually works. Okay, and it's working perfectly. Now let's see if the pause works, okay. We've got a working music generator in basically no time at all. The issue here is I notice is the, the volume bar doesn't work. We don't actually have a playback bar here, like showing us how far into the song we are. A few small issues, but if I clarified this before, I am sure Lindy would have gotten them. So actually I should have taken my prompt through ChatGPT before, I think, and actually asked it to include as much detail as possible for the things that we need. But so far this is good. One thing I'm also not a fan of is the UI. So let's change that. Let's update the UI. Use the UI in the screenshot that I provide to change the entire look and feel of our app. Another issue is that we don't actually see the play bar for the playback of our music. So I think we need to add that to make sure the users can actually see how far into the song they are. And also the volume slider doesn't work either. Now I've attached the screenshot from Brain FM so that it uses it as the inspiration for our UI. And let's run this prompt. It's usually better to run the prompts with less changes at a time. So you just change one thing, let's say the UI, and then the small details, etc. But I don't think this is too complicated, so I'm gonna run it. And here's our updated UI. I didn't need any more functionality, like for example, user authentication, as this will be my own personal use app. But I'm quite happy that the way it turned out, I think the UI looks beautiful and the functionality is quite simple, but it's exactly what I needed. Now, if you wanna do, you could prompt it and build it out much further. You could actually integrate Superbase for user authentication and registration, and you could probably link Stripe as well to actually have subscriptions. Now, if you wanna start using Lindy yourself to build out automations and now even apps, make sure to click the link in the description and you can get started with the free plan to see how it works. And I'll see you all in the next video.